Yo, Matka here. Today we're going to do this problem from the Putnam Math Competition, question A1, year 2010. Given a positive integer n, what is the largest k such that the numbers 1, 2, till n can be put into k boxes so that the sum of the numbers in each box is the same? So over here, I've written down a few values for n and the maximum value of k for each corresponding value of n. And I've also written down the arrangements which give this value of k. Uh, if you don't believe me, you can just verify it on your own. They're pretty small and easy to do, but I hope you do. Anyway, n equals 2, k max is 1, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6, 3. Okay, so we can see some sort of pattern here. Notice that when n equals 2, k equals 1, n equals 4, k equals 2, n equals 6, k equals 3. And so we know that so we know that k max equals n over 2 for even n but this is just a conjecture we we haven't proven it yet but off the examples we've seen this uh, this looks pretty likely similarly for odd n we have k max equals n plus 1 over 2 and you can see that from uh, from the examples when n was when n was 3 k max was 2 when when n was 5 k max was 3 and you know it just makes sense now we have to prove these things that's for odd n and for even we had k max equals n over 2. We have to prove these things. And the proof is pretty simple actually. We have this set here 1, 2 all the way till n and we break it up and then we put uh, its elements inside k boxes but at the end of the day those k boxes have only the elements of this set so so the sum of these uh, of the elements of the k boxes is going to be equal to the sum of this set right so the sum of this set is just 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n and this is going to be equal to n times n plus 1 over 2 and another way to find the total sum is say let there be some common sum so we have this common sum which is s right and there's k boxes so there's k boxes and in this case the total sum is just going to be s times k and we know that these two are basically counting the same thing and so they have to be equal this means sk equals n times n plus 1 over 2 and now in order to find the value of k which is which is the largest we have to find the value of s which is the the smallest value so what is the smallest value of the sum well we have this set here 1 2 till n and we had to break it up in some way now obviously when we when we break it up into k boxes one of those boxes is going to have n as well, right? And so the common sum is going to at least be equal to n, which is s is greater than or equal to n. So k times n is less than or equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Just cancel those off. And finally, you get k is less than or equal to n plus 1 over 2 and this means k max equals n plus 1 over 2. Now this is fine for, for odd n for odd n because uh, for odd n we get an integral value of k max but for even this doesn't work. For even let's say n equals 2l so we get k max would be equal to 2l plus 1 over 2 and that would be l plus half and this is not an integer so this is not acceptable okay so let's work this out for even n 
So we had k max is going to be less than or equal to n plus 1 over 2 for all n, right? So for all n. And now if n is even, what is what is the next possible largest value of k max, which is an integer? So that's just going to be n divided by 2, right? It's, it's pretty simple. Let n equal to k. Actually, let's not use 2k, that will get confusing. So let n equal uh, 2l. We have we have 2l plus 1 over 2. And this is equal to l plus 1 over 2. And since k max has to be less than this, the only the highest possible option we get for k max is k max equals l, which in other words is n over 2. And now we just have to, to find an actual arrangement which gives us these two. So for odd n, we have the arrangement n, n minus 1, 1, n minus 2, 2, and so on. And for even, we have n, 1, n minus 1, 2, n minus 2, 3, and so on. Anyway, that was a nice little problem. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.